Hello there and welcome back to our channel, my name is Jason and today we'll be starting a short series of videos looking at HTTP security headers. So what they are, what problems they solve and what options they provide. So missing HTTP security headers are typically a minor but very common finding during penetration testing and they are relatively simple to implement and instantly provide an additional layer of security on the client side of your application. So most of you will be familiar with the basics of what HTTP headers are, uh, but just as a quick refresher, HTTP headers are sent with both HTTP requests and responses. So they'll be right at the top of the request response and they will provide additional metadata. So a lot of this metadata will be informational. So a header might tell you what type of server is running or uh, what browser or user agent you're using on your end. Um, other headers can be used to directly change the behavior of the browser or server. So for example, one of the request headers is the uh, cookie header, which tells the server whose session the request belongs to. And the server, for example, may send um, a content type header in the response, which tells the browser what sort of uh, MIME type or file type is in the body and how it should be treated. So headers are important to ensure the application runs smoothly and the way they can be implemented is going to be going to depend completely on your technology stack. So whether you're using a Windows server with .NET or Apache with PHP, how the headers are implemented will be slightly different depending on what you're using. So onto the security headers, and these are headers that add additional protection against certain vulnerabilities and attacks. Uh, you'll see on the left here, we have quite a few security headers. Uh, the top four are what I would consider the main security headers, and then you have some additional headers below where the security element may be looser. There are some deprecated security headers to be aware of um, that you will still see in use by certain applications, um, but it's just important to note that these aren't well supported now. So I believe um, X cross-site scripting protection is now only supported by Safari, uh, for example, and all other browsers, it will be useless. It won't do anything. Uh, so steer clear of the deprecated security headers as if they do work, uh, they may not work for every user. So we'll be looking at the most prevalent security headers in the next few videos, but just to give you a quick synopsis of what each of these does. So the HTTP strict transport security header is quite well known. It instructs the browser to only speak to the application over HTTPS. So it prevents the browser from making connections over HTTP, which are insecure and unencrypted. The X frame options header is used particularly for sites that use cookies to maintain their session. And it basically restricts sites from loading your application within an iframe or any type of frame. Uh, its major purpose is to prevent what is known as clickjacking. And the X content type options header simply prevents the browser from doing something called mind sniffing, where it tries to auto detect the mind type or file type of the response data. So the, this header forces the browser to treat the data in the response as the mind type or the file type that is specified in the content type header. And last uh, but not least, we have the content security policy. And this is a very effective header at mitigating cross-site scripting, as by default, it prevents the execution of inline scripts, which are commonly uh, where uh, cross-site scripting payloads will end up. And it also allows developers to restrict where resources can be loaded from. So a very powerful header. Right, so that was a brief summary of the main headers, which we'll be looking at in more detail in the next few videos. Um, if you found this video helpful or want more of these mini-series, uh, then please like and subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.